Hey y'all, it's Brooke with HubSpot. Today, I'm going to show you how you can start using the HubSpot Developer MCP in your IDE of choice so that you can start using our AI-powered assistant for coding. This is in public beta, so make sure to sign up for this in your account. And if you have one of our old developer accounts, you can go ahead and migrate that to our new developer account that comes with the free CRM. So if you've never signed up for a beta before, all you need to do is go into your HubSpot account and then in the top right, click on the name of the account and then go down to product updates. And this will take you to a screen that will show you all of the product updates available. So if you go to the in beta section, you can see all of our betas that are currently available. So now I'm going to go ahead and search for MCP. And this will show you all of the MCP betas that we currently have running. The specific one that we need to sign up for is HubSpot Developer MCP Server. And this is available for all tiers. So once you're in the beta, then you can set up the MCP using the HubSpot CLI. So now I'm in my IDE of choice. I'm using Cursor, but you can use Windsurf, you can use Cloud Code, and you can use VS Code. So the first thing that you need to do is run the command HSMCP setup. And before you run this command, make sure that you're authorized with an account that is signed up for the public beta. Once you run that, it will go ahead and ask you to choose which tool you'd like to add the HubSpot CLI MCP server to. So you're going to go through and choose the one that you want. Then you're going to click on the space bar to choose it. And once it's chosen, they'll be highlighted in the circle. And then you will click return. And then you can now start using the HubSpot CLI MCP. Now you may need to restart your tool to apply the changes. So let's go ahead and go into our cursor settings. And then we can see in our MCP settings here, if the HubSpot dev is working. And so now we can see that the MCP is working. We have the little green icon there letting us know. And it also can show us all of the tools that are enabled that we can use with the MCP. So now that we've installed the MCP, let's go ahead and open up a new chat and see what we can do with the MCP. All right. So now that we're in here, you can just go ahead and start asking it to do things with the HubSpot MCP. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to create me a new project. Create a new HubSpot project with an app card. And then this will go ahead and run. And the best model to use this for is going to be Claude Sonnet. If you use others, they're okay, but the Claude Sonnet model is the best one to use with that. So let's go ahead and see what it said. So this is saying that I need to add a project name. So let's go ahead and tell it project name will be Brooks test app. And then the destination folder will be Brook test app. It'll also ask you to choose your authentication method and your distribution type. So with the new unified apps, it's very easy to choose whether you're going to create this for private distribution or for OAuth. So for this one, let's just go ahead and say we are using our authentication method of static and our distribution type will be private. And this will set up our information inside of our HS project JSON file. And then you can go ahead and allow list this stuff and we'll go ahead and create all of your information. And this is using the MCP. So it made it super quickly. And then it also tells you all of the different things that you need to do to really get this started. So now we need to CD into the folder we just created inside of our terminal. So let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing. We're going to CD into that folder that we just created. And then we need to install the project dependencies. You can run the command HS project install depths, and that will go through and install all of the node dependencies that you need for your project. And you can even have it upload it directly to your account by asking it to do it for you. So you can say, please upload this project and we'll go ahead and upload the project to your account. Again, you can allow list things so that it will go ahead and 
run all that without having to ask you for permission. And it seems to have found an error. It looks like it doesn't like the apostrophe. So it is fixing the app name, which is really great. It will go through and lint your code, make sure that anything that is erroring out gets fixed so that it will be properly uploaded to your HubSpot account. And this time it's saying it's successful and it even includes links to view your project inside of your account. And what you can actually do to see it even faster is use the command HS project open and that will go ahead and open your HubSpot account for you directly to your app page and show you everything that you have. So here we have my card and it's saying that it is ready to go. So that is how you use the HubSpot developer MCP to create HubSpot projects in an instant. It'll even lend your code for you, tell you if there's any build errors and fix them for you right within your AI chat. So make sure to sign up for the beta today, test it out and let us know what you think. Also make sure to subscribe to the HubSpot developers YouTube channel and I will see you all in another video. Bye y'all. Bye-bye.